Hello, this is Hawker to Bean, and today we're going to be reading SCP-328. Also, you might be able to hear the purring of a cat that I have with me. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Item number, SCP-328. Object Class, Safe. Special Containing Procedures SCP-328 is to be kept in a secure locker or in storage area 32BA. No, that's 328A. Wow, I'm blind. Okay. Access for research requires level 3 authorization and will be permitted in most instances. Due to its unclear nature, SCP-328 is not to be allowed into contact with any data reading device with a connection to the internet or the foundation and internet. Electrical Product devices which have been used to study SCP-328 should be early labeled SCP-328 use only and stored in storage area 328A for common use in case of unidentified viral properties. A small isolated lab adjacent to storage area 328A as in 328B has been established to this end. Description SCP-328 is a smooth, greenish-yellow disc approximately 10 cm in diameter and 4 mm thick, weighing just over 13 grams, composed of an unknown crystalline organic compound. The body pattern of SCP-328 is highly organized in a manner represented of, reminiscent of a data storage or retrieval device. SCP-3208-01 See below, a data file retrieved from SCP-328 seems to confirm this. Various analyses of, sample of samples of SCP-328 have been inconclusive. Some known atomic elements have been identified, but none in recognized comp compositional patterns, and not close enough to account for the mass of the samples used. It is slightly warmer than or about 4 degrees Celsius than its surrounding environment, even when subjected to in extreme temperatures. It is susceptible to connect egg damage when it broken reforms itself from its largest remaining piece over a period of one week to six months, depending on the severity of damage. Crystallographic analysis of fragments indicate they possess a restructured crystalline form, scaled down on version of the whole item structure. As this grid grows, the structure re expands and returns to its original form. No changes have been observed in binary data obtained from the disk reader or be see below before and after breakage and reformation. Three twenty eight has been in possession of, of the foundation since a redacted date in the eighteen hundreds. When it was recovered from data expunged. Until a redacted date in the nineteen hundreds, the purpose and nature of SCP three twenty eight was uncertain. In an accidental breakdown, SCP three twenty eight was inserted into the experimental disk drive. I have been treated with redacted as part of the redacted project. See at that number 328 one. SP328 when used with this reader produces binary data. Multiple cryptographic analysis of binary code produce indicate that at least some of it is is a description of data contained on SCP-328, an algorithm for converting the binary into ASCII code has been developed, and the current extent of translation is evident as SCP-3208-01. Veracity of this data is uncertain, but given the coherence of the data produced, it seems unlikely it is a random fluke. Curiously, the data obtained is written in over 30 known languages, transliterated into Roman characters, and what appears to be a single article.
Further attempts to directly access and translate the data on SCP-328 have proven labor-intensive, and full funding for the project has been pulled. Dr. E has announced that anyone with relevant skills, cryptography, data storage recovery, or linguistics in particular, is welcome to take up translation of SCP-328 as a hobby item. Addendum 328-1. As project redacted, which produced the original OSCP-328, data reader has been cancelled. For over a decade, Dr. E has lodged a formal complaint for O5 clearance to remove the redaction, allowing anyone working on SCP-328 to consider this information. Permission is pending. For how long? SCP-3208-01. This comprises the main body of the documents translated from SCP-328. Much of the actual log consists of random ASCII characters, which may be untranslatable text, untranslated text, or may correspond to some other type of information. All data has been translated into English for ease of comprehension. The original untranslated log with complete additional text is stored at SCP-32801 OR disk and storage area 328A. Translation data begins. It's approximately four units in width, six units in length, and four and 0 0.4 units high when sitting on a flat surface. Its external surface is extremely is essentially featureless aside from Unrecognized markings on several surfaces and several narrow slots along the two shore heads. A taste of sodium chloride present in trace non toxic quantities on its surface. And of carbon based oils and polymers of unidentified composition. Oil graphic analysis of the the residues present on the surface of the material of which the device is comprised indicate it contains several elements unknown to our science. When inactive, it radiates very little energy. Its surrounding is flavorous, aside from a hint of unreadable text. These indentations along the edge release electromagnetic radiation and rhythmic pulse upon the depression of a smooth feature of a smooth flavorless, i.e. possessing only the same base flavor as the object, surface on the same edge as the radiators. The top half of the device becomes, becomes loose, revealing itself to be hinged along the opposite surface. Inside is what appears to be a control console, with 104 or nearly identical depressible surfaces and most of a uniform size. Researcher has described them as sequence of untranslated data. To each of the Hmm. Inside its outer, but underneath it is a sequence of untranslatable, untranslated data. When a small oblong surface is pressed, the translucent surface above the primary interface almost immediately begins emitting in class radiation, which claimed the uh, four researchers before I could show we could read the device. See handling protocols above. Operation. Trial and error has revealed that the pressure that the pressing certain in combinations of the surface on the control console will cause changes in the spectrum of radiation emitted by the de either device. Along the nature of these changes has yet to be determined and the patterns are consistent. Additionally, the device does not emit identical radiation from every surface. It appears to have over one million nearly identical microemitters arranged in a grid like pattern across its surface. Each one is it's capable of emitting variable radiation frequencies. When cataloged and mapped, the different frequencies of radiation form pairs of symbols, which at least partially correspond to the symbols mapped onto the controls console. Log sequence of untranslated data. Power source was identified by researcher unknown by activating two sliding panels previously unknown on the other on the other side of the control console. Of roughly, the cylindrical 
a portion hidden beneath the hinge could be removed. While it's certainly an undifferentiable and undifferentiable from the main portion of the device, this segment is somewhat denser. After its removal, the device will not activate. As with act device of the device should be stored in this format from this point on. Again, researcher uh, 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 advice. Some researcher of uh, curiosity manipulated what is believed to be a connection socket on the food of power supply. A hmm, was observed to emit involuntarily sub from sub researcher unknown. Followed by data expunged. Relations research note. This data expunge tag is the closest translation of the original Healy phrase in SCP 32801OR. It has not been added by the Foundation. Although this is feasible if unsavory although this is a feasible if unsavory method for recharging the device, sure its power supply fail. It is recommended that valuable re sub researchers not be used in the in this manner in the future. And then them unknown characters 1.01. .01. Researcher unknown has committed it into safe storage for reconditioning after acting a magnetic weapon on the device. Simultaneous is the pressure of the two control surfaces labeled and that activated a uh, here to for unidentified capacity on the device. Type electromagnetic radiation was made from in a frequency fluctuating pattern into a moderate to long wavelength. This interfered directly with researcher or F. F's as has previously been documented in logs of device unknown. Researcher F was recorded as as being gibberish before seeking a connection and something about a web. Further exposure to the device is ill advised at this time. Observation from a Queen researcher O. Oh, it seems certain and that this is another me a medic energy weapon developed by agency EF in light of this, the research council should consider releasing another 3D, no further translated information. Huh. So this device was being used to record data about some sort of experiment about some other anomaly that some other that aliens were trying to study themselves. How interesting. Anyway, this was SCP three twenty eight. And the nickname they gave for this was Alien Disc. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so tell then. Goodbye!